Hey gang, let's talk about bug reports. As devs, we love them and we hate them. <laughs> you get a bug report and it's beautiful prose, it's paragraphs describing in intimate detail what the issue is. And as a dev, you read through it and you're like, I still have no idea what's going on. So in the spirit of making better bug reports, better bug reports, uh, I strongly encourage show, don't tell. Uh, take a screen cap, record a bit of video. Uh, it'll make a dev's life way easier. They'll be able to spot the problem and know exactly what they're supposed to be focused on. And if you add a few simple annotations, then it's impossible to miss. So here are a few tips for doing that. Uh, right out of the gate, we can do very basic screen caps on, in this case, I'm on a Mac, so Shift-Command-3 takes a picture of my entire screen. Everything is in there. Uh, if I don't need everything, I can go Shift-Command-4, which gives me this little draggable thing, and I can take a picture of that as well. Uh, if I was on a website, uh, and all I want to do is take a picture of this window, I can do that using Shift-Command-4 again. But in this case, tap spacebar, and you get this, which lets me select any window uh, on that is currently open. This is considered a window, this is considered a window, these, the background. So I can hit that, and I get that picture of Amazon.com. From there, I can use an app to add some arrows or maybe a box showing exactly where the issue is, uh, a little bit of comment text. Uh, if you want something free, I recommend Skitch. Uh, that's by Evernote. Freemium, I think, actually. Uh, they try to upsell you on stuff, but Skitch. On my Mac, I use an app called Napkin, which I've been using for a couple years now. I find it very handy. Looks a lot like this, very basic interface, but uh, the tools are all there. So I can make some changes to the image or I can just go ahead and draw a circle, maybe something a little bit more circle-like and drag that out and do a little call out on, on the salad. It's quite nice. Maybe I add an arrow just like this. Right? And the cool thing about these arrows is that once they're on there, I can drag them around and they will stay stay where they're supposed to, stay where, where I set them. Uh, at any point, I can just start typing and it will add a text box for me. So eat this salad. Yummy. Maybe not quite that size. We can drag this down and put it right about here, right? Uh, so I can do that very quickly, add some text, an arrow. Uh, if, you, if you're able to do a call out, you can do that if you even need it. Maybe you just want to attach this arrow to some text. Uh, from there, I can drag this out into Slack. I don't usually save these napkin files. I don't have a need to edit them ever again, so why would I? But as part of napkin, we have this little hand, this little icon here, and you can see it changes to a hand. I can drag that directly into Slack and not even have to save it to my desktop. In this case, I did. So it's right here. Uh, I can have this right into Slack and then move on with my life, okay? Uh, so take a screen cap, add some annotations when, whenever possible, and share that along with your description. It will make life so much easier. Not so much easier if it's an interaction problem, right? If you're, if you're doing hovers or, or stuff like that, this isn't going to work. You need something else. So in that case, I recommend going with video. On, on a Mac, we have, we have QuickTime Pro, QuickTime Player, and you can actually record your screen here. New screen recording. It's right there. Uh, you can also record your voice while doing it if you want. There's a few settings in there. You can do that. I've been using an app called ScreenFlick. That's this little red icon here. I usually have it hidden away, but today I didn't do that. And uh, 
it's pretty simple, but I can't show it to you because I'm using it. So here's some screenshots I made. Uh, very basic interface, uh, but it's again, it's all tucked away. So some basic video options, capture rate, uh, which microphone to record from. I can even record my face if I wanted to do that. Uh, I haven't needed to do that yet, but I'd like to, maybe one day. Uh, and then once you, once you record, you can select the screen, uh, select a part of the screen or the whole screen, and go, go about showing the thing that's having a problem. If it's just a small part like this here, I might just drag around this and just uh, show what the bug is, right? Uh, save it down and it gives you this. From here you can do a little bit of trimming and then uh, some controls here and export to basically anything. So if I was going with a Jira issue or something like that, I might go with the, the GIF, uh, save it as a GIF and, and then post something like this directly to Jira. It's like there's a problem with the old marquee tag. It's working. Something, I don't know. Uh, so there it is. Uh, better bug reports. Very simple. Uh, you take a picture or shoot some video. Uh, there are a lot of great tools on, on Mac. Hopefully there are on Windows too. And a lot of free tools, a lot of uh, paid tools. Anything. Anything will make our lives as devs easier and when you do that we're able to fix the bug faster which means less bugs so show don't tell uh, if you're using similar tools I'd definitely love to hear about them uh, share them in the comments and until then I will see you next time